Greetings, I'm Robert Muhammad, Student Minister Muhammad Moss, number 64 in the city of Austin. That's right. We're here with the illustrious, the, one of the greatest brothers that we know that's helping the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, Student Minister Nuri Muhammad, the Indianapolis representative of the Honorable Louis Farrakhan in the Nation of Islam. We have, uh, we're here with Black Video News Network, mm -hmm. and we wanted to ask you a couple of questions. First question is, um, in 2017, with Donald Trump being elected president of the United States of America, how important is a subject like finding common ground to the black, brown, and the poor community? Well, thank you, Brother Robert. And first of all, I want to say to the Black Video News Network uh, how honored we are for the work that you all are doing for our people. Uh, we know that in order to win any war, and whether we want to accept it or not, the stats show by the fact more black males are born than black females, but by the time the two reach age 18, black females are number black males seven to one. We definitely at war and we lose in a lot of, we have a lot of COWs, casualties of war. So when you have a battle, you have to have foot soldiers, boots on the ground as they call it, and you also have to, if you really want to win, you got to launch some airstrikes. So we are happy and pleased for, to, to the Black Video News Network that you all have decided to take on wings and launch some airstrikes on envy, jealousy, fear, distrust, self-hatred, all the stuff that plagues our people. Um, of course, you know, right now everybody, especially in the black community, uh, are scared to death with, with Trump getting in the office. A brother asked me on the radio the other day, they said, man, uh, what, uh, man, with Trump in, what's the next four years going to look like for us? I said, hell, the same as the last 400. This ain't the first cracker in the White House. We didn't have 43 Donald Trumps before this one. That's right. And I told the brother, and he didn't understand, and I'm going to mention it today on Black Video uh, News Network, Trump is good for business. What business? The business of black unity, the business of us pulling our resources to try to build an economic reality that will solve our problems, the, the business of us leaning uh, less on politics and more on spiritual development, health. health. If you know you're not going to have no health insurance, you got to put the pork chop down, down now for sure. You can't afford to drink that and smoke that no more if you know you can't get to the, go to the doctor. So now, now how to eat to live by the honor of Elijah Muhammad becomes more relevant. And we've learned... Uh, from even in the world of medicine where they tell us that an ounce of prevention is worth more than a pound of cure. So with us, unfortunately, as a people, uh, for four years, almost all black people went to sleep when Obama became elected. And the last four years, whenever the first four years showed that our condition didn't change, half of us woke up, but the other half was still asleep. But when you have a human alarm clock, like Donald Trump, when you have such a figure that is open as who he is and what he's going to do, then it serves as a good alarm clock that will hope, hopefully at, wake us up as a people. And as the song said in the beginning of the Get Out movie, maybe we'll stay woke. Yes, sir. So considering the facts, considering the condition, considering the environment, considering the, the climate, mm -hmm. how important is the message of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan in this particular climate right now for black people? Well, you know, of course, we, we have those of us that follow the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. When we accepted him, we didn't accept him uh, under the banner or on the frequency of a traditional Negro leader, black preacher, civil rights activist, as many people have seen him. We, the followers of his and under the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's guidance, we've always seen him as being one that comes in that line of divine. So for us, we've never said Frederick Douglass, W.E.B. Du Bois, Elijah Muhammad. Right. For us, we've never said Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, Louis Farrakhan. For those that have seen him in light of scripture and us as a people in light of scripture, we always knew we were walking with a divine man. And one of the beauties of a divine man or a messenger of God or one that comes in that line of divine is that regular people have two sights, insight and hindsight, meaning we can see the present 
and see the past. And the fact that, that the saying is that hindsight is twenty twenty shows that most of, the, of us as regular people don't see nothing accurate but what's already happened. But what a messenger of God has that separates them from being a normal person is not just insight to see the present, hindsight, judging the past, but they have a third sight called foresight, which means they can see into the future. And for us that have been watching the minister as a people and have been listening to him, we've listened to a man for 62 years. Every three or four years, he'll say something. And then four years later, five years later, six months later, six years later, we see what he said can come to pass. So at what point, you know, we have a saying, Islam comes after all else has failed. Well, everything we tried other than following the man that God raised for us, the Honorable Minister Louis Falk, we tried it all. Now, maybe at the end of the cycle of all of our action, maybe we would listen to what he has been telling us, which was echoing the program of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. In a nutshell, you can't blame the white man for 95% of your problems and still spend 97% of your money with him. In a nutshell, don't invest in trying to get a bigger piece of the American pie. Grow your own wheat, plant your own apple trees, get your own kitchen and oven, and make your own pie for yourself. So Do For Self has always been the program of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And instead of us constantly wading in, striking, boycotting, picketing, reinvest that energy into doing something for ourselves. That's the program of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad that the minister has been echoing to us. We have to graduate now as a people from being beggars to becoming builders. That's what he's been teaching us. And I think that when you have, as you see in Donald Trump, what the book of Ezekiel, they would call him a wind. 37th chapter of Ezekiel, to those in the listening audience, crack open the Bible, dust him off, look it up. It says the son of man was speaking to the bones, had two goals, unite, stand up. The bones would shake, the bones would rattle, but they never would come together and they never would stand up. So the son of man went back to his Lord and said, I've been speaking to the bones, they've shook, they've rattled, but they've not come together, nor have they stood. And the Lord told the son of man, stop speaking to the bones and start speaking to the winds and let the winds whip them into shape. Well, the winds represent circumstances. And what Donald Trump represents is not a creature of circumstance, but a creature that's going to produce circumstances that will serve like the winds that were necessary for those dry bones in the valley. Guess what happened? What happened? When the winds blew, according to the scripture, Ezekiel 37, it said those bones, they came together, they stood up and became an exceedingly great army. So... In, in the beginning, I said Trump is good for his business. Why? Because he's going to cause us to come together, stand up, and not become an exceedingly great organization or an exceedingly great choir or exceedingly great book club, but an exceedingly great army. And when we take on that military posture, loving one another, loving ourselves, and, and thinking about who the real enemy is, change will take place overnight, and we'll be following the man that's been teaching us this all our life. Great words from beyond and coming up out of the ministry class of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad under the leadership of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. One last thing, one yes, final sir. thing for the viewing audience and the listening audience. Where can they get more information? Uh, where can they get more messages, uh, social media sites, and how can they contact student minister Nuri Muhammad? Uh, best thing to do is just go to NuriMuhammad.com or just Google my name and uh, it'll come up. There's a lot of lectures that people have put out uh, on there. I have two books and uh, you know, shop with your brother before you shop with another. And it's written in the Bible. Now I can't, I'm, I'm gonna tell you that in, these, in Matthew four and four, it says, man cannot live off of YouTube alone. That's not the King James, <laughs> trans that's the LeBron James translation. But at a certain point, you gotta buy your own lectures. Go to NuriMuhammad.com and uh, hopefully you'll uh, appreciate the way that, uh, that I bear witness to the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Most people consider it to be a very user-friendly user uh, method, and uh, it can help make you the best version of yourself. Well, thank you, student minister. Thank we you, sir. are honored by your presence. And so we're signing out, Brother Robert Muhammad with Black Video News Network. Thank you all. Assalamu alaikum.